In today's video, we are diving into the world of industrial automation with Finder Opta Controller. We will guide you through a temperature control program for a control cabinet using a heater and a ventilator. We will break down the program's logic from scaling analog values to controlling devices based on temperature thresholds. In the end of this video, you will have a clear understanding how to write effective programs in structure, text, programming language, and how to monitor uh, parameters both locally in the PLC and in the cloud. If you enjoy industrial automation content, hit the like button down below the video and subscribe to our channel for more videos. Let's get started with this tutorial. You have connected the Finder Opta controller to the wireless Wi-Fi network and now you are exchanging data between PLC IDE and the cloud. These are shared variables. Let's move on to the project and the main program. Here I wrote a temperature control program for the control cabinet using a ventilator and a heater. I'll briefly explain how this program works. At the beginning, I performed the scaling of the analog value. Here you can connect the temperature sensor value to this function block. Instead of temperature sensor, I have a voltage regulator for educational purposes. And at the output of this function block, I get a real type value, a floating point variable. I copied this variable and I also convert it to an integer value. And then I use shared vars variables to write the values indicating that the heater is on. These are shared vars input and output variables. Then I have a program that controls the heater and the ventilator. If the current temperature is less than the lower level plus half of hysteresis, then turn on the heater and turn on the indicator lights. Here I have several variables. The current temperature, it is taken from the temperature sensor. Then we have the lower limit at which the heater turns on, which is 16 degrees Celsius, a hysteresis of 2 degrees Celsius, and then we have a certain hysteresis for turning on the heater. The upper limit is 30 degrees Celsius. And based on this, I can perform such regulation. However, here I have an if condition. If the temperature is less than the upper limit, which is 30 degrees Celsius plus half of the hysteresis, then turn on the ventilator and turn on the indicator light. And at the bottom, there is the last line of the code. Here we simply turn on the lighting in the control cabinet using the start button or a button in the cloud. And it is a simple if condition. If this condition is met, we turn on the lamp. Otherwise, if the stop button is pressed, we turn off the lamp. This is a simple program to show you how to write programs in structure text. Ok, that's all for this program. I can also show you here that variables have appeared in the project tree assigned to the extension modules and I use them here. We have the heater. The ventilator, you can simply drag these variables and use them in the program. That's what I did. Let's move on to testing this program. I uploaded the program to the controller. In the watch table, I monitor several variables, heater, ventilator, lighting and current temperature. I will try to exceed the temperature above 30 degrees. The ventilator should turn on. The temperature is about 35 degrees, the ventilator is on, indicated by the green light connected to the controller and as you can see the indicator on the cloud visualization. Here we monitor the temperature and also the temperature on the chart. It works. Let's try to go below 30 degrees. Ok, now neither the ventilator nor the heater is working. If we go below 16 degrees, we'll turn on the heater. The heater has been turned on. If we go to 70 degrees, we have this hysteresis. 
the heater will be turned off. Our functionality works. We monitor all parameters in the cloud and in PLC IDE. We exchange this data without any problems. I will also turn on the lighting. Start, stop, start. The lighting works without any issues. Similarly, I can do this by clicking on the visualization here. It works. I added a module for measuring electrical energy consumption to my system. Currently, the current consumption indicator shows zero. None of the devices are turned on. Let's try to change the system temperature. We are below 16 degrees. The heater has already been turned on. This is also indicated by this relay. As you can see, the current consumption is 0.25 amps. We can change the measurement here. Currently, the heater consumes about 55 watts. The heater is now heating up, so it works. We can now turn on the ventilator. Check what the power consumption will be. The ventilator is turned on. I think you can hear it on the microphone as well. The ventilator consumes less power, it's about 20 watts. Let's look at the current, 0.13 amps. We can add lighting to this. You see the output on the extension module was turned on for the lighting. And here is the relay. The lighting is on, off, on. Let's check the reading on the power measurement module. Currently we are consuming 0.03 amps, so a very small current. If you look at the power reading, it is 5.4 watts. Thank you for watching. Now you know how to write simple programs in structured text. You know how to create a temperature controller program using a heater and a ventilator. If you have more questions, just leave the comment down below the video. We'll answer all your questions regarding this program. Remember, hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and see you in the next industrial automation video.